It's one of the best colleges in the country. It's free, and its graduates help protect us all. Here's an up-close look at the U.S. Naval Academy, where students learn to be leaders. They patrol above and below all seven seas. Their flyers are the top guns of combat aviation. They're often the first to hit the beach, prepared to fight, or as part of an American humanitarian effort. They are the men and women of the United States Navy and Marine Corps. Many of the officers who command these forces started their careers here at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. It's a very special type of person that chooses the Naval Academy. It's an unbelievable education. It is free. Um, it, you do get a job when you leave, but there is that element of commitment to the country and also an element of self-discipline. I love the atmosphere. I love being around all the history. The Naval Academy has been around since 1845, and the tradition is astounding. It's, a great, it's great being a part of that. I think the Naval Academy offers a very unique opportunity to discover yourself, to grow as a leader, and to basically live and learn with the best and brightest, I think, in our nation. We're trying to find the horizontal distance as a function of the number of pumps in the square gun. Today, uh, we're doing a reverse engineering experiment. Uh, as you can see, they've got these squirt guns. So they're going to pump it a few times, put some water in it, and see how far it will spray. And then the next thing that they're going to do is disassemble it. And we're going to try to write mathematical equations that describe the behavior of the squirt gun. Uh, the ultimate end game of this class is to get students excited about engineering and to uh, get them familiar with the principles that they'll be using in the next three years here at the Naval Academy. Classes like these help make the Academy one of the top engineering schools in the country. So right now my partner and I are getting our model set up so that we can conduct the lab for our Principles of Ship Performance class. Finding out how to prevent capsizing is certainly a good thing to know if you're going to be a naval officer. It's cool to get both the engineering side and the practical side of it. That's why hands-on training is so important at the Academy. Whether it's learning how to handle a boat powered by wind or by engines like these YPs. YPs are yard patrol craft. They're 108 foot and 130 foot training vessels used to go anywhere from Key West up to uh, Boston. We have a pretty wide operating range. 36 degrees of spark advance on the engine. Okay, we're starting at 36. We're gonna go advance as we can. In today's Navy, officers also must understand the complex aerodynamics that keep fighter jets in the air. I decided to come to Annapolis because my father was in the Navy and he flew planes and I decided I wanted to do the same thing, follow in his footsteps um, and serve my country. The compression ratio goes from 5 to 1 on a centrifugal to a 15 to 1 in, in a compressor like this one on the We are definitely a technically oriented school. Um, we, we are very heavy into, into the math and sciences and we have a, a, a great uh, 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 engineering and mathematics uh, uh, curriculum here, but we also serve humanities and social sciences as well. Our students attend classes and have to complete a degree program just like at another university. Um, they take a well-rounded curriculum. And you can major in anything from political science all the way to electrical engineering. The Naval Academy has a language of its own. For example, the students are called midshipmen. The term midshipmen actually comes from the olden days when younger boys were training to be sailors on the ship and they lived in the middle of the ship. But now the term is used, it's gender neutral as a student at the Naval Academy. The entire student body, about 4,400 midshipmen, is referred to as the brigade. It's made up of smaller units, such as squads, platoons, and companies. When they march in formation, it's called a parade. A hat is a cover, and this door does not lead to the office of the headmaster. I'll explain that in a minute. We want those students who strive to be leaders in the community. Students face a lot of competition to get here and you need to be recommended by a member of Congress or by the Vice President. But don't let that scare you. Their offices will be happy to help you if you have the right grades and character. 
So we know and understand those students exist in all places in all corners of the country. So we like to attract those students. We'll have more on the Naval Academy when Teen Kids News continues. Remember that door marked head? It's Navy speak for It's hard to believe, but after the American Revolution, Congress shut down the Navy to save money. Because of the need to fight pirates, President George Washington won funding in 1794 for a permanent Navy. Then, in the 1840s, the U.S. Naval Academy was established in Maryland. Each year, more than 1,200 students, called plebes, arrived to start light at the Academy. What they experienced during plebe summer is something they'll never forget. <laughs> Plebe summer occurs the summer before you enter the Naval Academy. It's about two months of training that everyone has to go through. It's intensive, it's to, to break you into a military environment, especially for those who've never been involved in the military in any aspect before. So you're going to get a crash course in physical fitness, you're going to get a crash course in military indoctrination, you're going to get a crash course in just overall discipline, time management, and bearing. You're going to do push-ups, you're going to do sit-ups, you're going to learn who your friends are, you're going to be become one with the Brigade of Midshipmen. Teamwork is definitely a watchword here. In fact, it's tradition to end plebe year by placing a midshipman's cover, a hat, on top of Herndon Monument. Talk about teamwork. There are definitely points, especially during plebe year, where I thought to myself, you know, Carolyn, you gave it all you could, but this is it, you know, this, this is where the line ends for you. And someone would come along and say, you know, you got a little more. And I crossed what I thought was my limit. And it's come to a point where I honestly don't know where my limit is because every time I've set the bar somewhere, somebody's helped push me past it or I've come to learn to keep pushing myself. Just like on a ship, midshipmen here live in rather close quarters. In fact, they all reside in Bancroft Hall said to be the largest college dormitory in the world. It's also where they all eat. Uh, before noon meal, on weekdays, we have something called noon meal formation. Every company forms up by platoons, and the Naval Academy Band will play Anchors Away, and we will march into the Bancroft Hall and go eat. Like other college students, midshipmen compete in sports, play instruments, do theater, community service, and all kinds of clubs. And as we reported, admission to the academy is free. What you pay is a commitment. So you're committed to the four years that you're here, and then after that you're going to be committed to five years of service as a, as a leader within our nation's military, particularly the Navy and the Marine Corps. At this point I'm hoping to go to a destroyer, a DDG, out of Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. I'm going to join the submarine force. I hope to be a surface warfare officer in approximately seven months and enter the fleet, um, serve on a destroyer or a cruiser. Ideally. Wherever they go after graduation, these new officers in the Navy and Marine Corps take a lot with them. Training, honor, confidence, and friendships that will last a lifetime. You cannot imagine the friendships that you make while you're here at the Naval Academy. Well, you, you can start thinking about it as early as 7th and 8th grade, really. The service academies in general, and the Naval Academy specifically, uh, you want to just start to establish a relationship with the academy. And that's essentially, you know, submitting your name to our contacts database and going onto our website and just checking things out. I know undoubtedly that even once I leave this institution and we all scatter throughout the world on different deployments, different stations, we're still going to have this bond, we're still going to be friends, we always share this one experience that is the Naval Academy. The motto of the Academy is, from knowledge, sea power. That certainly explains why ours is undoubtedly the best-led Navy in the world. To find out more about the U.S. Naval Academy, check out the link on our Teen Kids News website.